So I'm going to be putting together a couple of kits today. One is a trauma kit, sort of first aid kit. Uh, that will be one that can go in my backpack or in the car. Uh, the other is a small pocket sized first aid kit, something very simple. You can slip in your pocket to handle bumps and scrapes and things that you might encounter just going about your day. So I'm gonna pull out all of the stuff and we'll pile everything up here and we'll start putting together a couple of kits. Typically when I put together first aid kits, I use plastic bags. I use sandwich bags or snack size bags for pocket size kits. I use big gallon size Ziplocs for like backpack sized first aid kits, something like that. I do that because these are cheap, they're easy, and you can see everything inside. The problem with plastic bags and Ziploc bags is that they can get torn up. If you're pulling the first aid kit in and out of a bag or in and out of a pocket, this is not going to last. So this is what I'm using for the trauma kit, first aid kit. This is from Roaring Fire Gear. Uh, I don't remember exactly what this is. I think this is their EDC pouch. Uh, I used this for my EDC stuff for a long time to carry pins, pocket knife, charging cords, all of that type of stuff. For the pocket sized first aid kit, I'm going to be using this little pouch. This is made by Dickinson Trading. This thing is absolutely fantastic, very well made. I'll put a link to the website in the description. Go check this out. So I'm gonna start pulling the stuff that I want to put in these kits. Let's start with the small pocket kit. Let's just set this aside and I'm going to start putting all of the things here that I would like to put into a first aid kit. First thing we're gonna put in there is bandages. I have used a lot of different bandages working in a clinic. These are by far the best bandages in my opinion. So this is a two inch by three inch size. This is a good size for like scraped up knees, elbows, that type of thing. And then these are three quarter by three inch. I actually prefer the one inch by three inch ones, but I'm not sure where my box of those went. These are just good for general purpose, little cuts, scrapes, fingers, toes, that sort of thing. Next, I want some gloves. So these are little individual pill pack bags. Uh, they're made to hold like one day's dose of medication. These little tiny bags are perfect for holding one pair of gloves, sometimes two, but I wear extra large gloves so they hold one pair. Now if you're freaked out that I'm pulling these gloves off and I'm getting them dirty and I'm putting them in this bag, these gloves are not sterile. They're clean and they're really meant to keep my hands clean if I have to get into something messy. If I'm doing first aid and I'm dealing with somebody's bodily fluids, I'm worried about keeping my hands clean. I'm not worried about keeping them clean so much. So gloves in here and there is a single pair of extra large gloves. Next uh, I'm going to put one of these plastic bags in there. These are dog poop bags. We keep these in our diaper bag because they're the perfect size to hold one, maybe two diapers. And they're a great size to hold a pair of messy gloves or dirty, whatever it is you you have to work on. I like to carry Coban or uh, Coflex or Vet Wrap, whatever you call this stuff, whatever you buy it as. These little narrow rolls are really nice for fingers and stuff. You can take these wide rolls and just cut them into two inch or one inch sections. Next up, some gauze. These are gauze four by fours. These are nice for something larger, like a really scraped up knee, scraped up leg, uh, ABD pads. Uh, these are great to put in a first aid kit. These are five inch by nine inch, so they unfold pretty large. Next, uh, a little pocket size CPR mask. So these I buy on Amazon to replace the medications in a lot of my first aid kits. They're individually packaged, so they don't rattle around. 
They don't make a bunch of noise rattling around in a first aid kit or in your pocket, and they're really easy to carry. This Amazon brand acetaminophen, it's packaged up the same way. Pepsid, I like to buy these this way because they're in these little bubble packs. They're all labeled on the back. And this way I can just take off a couple to put in my first aid kit because I don't need all of them. Same with Benadryl and anti-diarrheals. Don't take any medication uh, other than recommended by your doctor, of course. All right, let's see what we can fit in one of these little pill pack bags. Got those. Let's see what will fit in this pouch. So I don't think we're going to get ABD pads or 4x4s in this pouch. Uh, let's put the rest of this stuff in here. These are like the exact size of this pouch, so they will fit in here. Perfect. Small bandages. Probably don't need that many. Let's go with our medications in there. Plastic bag. We'll roll it up, tuck it down there at the bottom. We'll just pull the cardboard out, flatten that down. I'm just going to tuck this in the very back here. Gloves. CPR mask. This would be a good thing to clip on the outside because I want this to just slide into my pocket. I'm just going to slip it right in the top here. And there we go. Oh, forgot my toothpick. And that is a pocket-sized first aid kit. This is going to be our bigger kit and let's collect all the stuff we're going to put in there it's going to be a lot of the same stuff as in the little kit uh, but we're going to add even more so we're just going to start packing this one two inch by three inch bandages um smaller bandages i'm just going to slide all these back in here antibiotic ointment some hand sanitizer in here there's some ibuprofen it expired in 2013 i'll toss that I'm going to put some alcohol prep pads in here as well. Just kind of generally useful for cleaning things. And some chapstick. I do carry a tourniquet in a kit like this that's going in my backpack. I also carry a compression dressing or compression bandage. I don't carry it like this though. If you take off that outside wrapping, it is still vacuum sealed in this inside one, but you can actually flatten it out a little bit and then it's a lot easier to carry in the kit. So I'm going to put some of these gauze 4x4s and a couple of ABD pads or Surge pads, another name you might find. It's the same thing. Super thin little space blanket, thermal blanket. I'm going to carry a couple of these little bags. I almost forgot these. Steri strips. These are going to go in here. On some of my bigger kits, I will do this. I'll get these small size bottles or travel size bottles and I'll carry them this way for this kit because this is very flat. I don't want to carry these bottles. Feminine hygiene products. Someday your wife is really going to thank you. Dayquil, NyQuil, Benadryl, Pepsid anti-diarrheals, acetaminophen, and ibuprofen. I'm also going to add some chewable Rolaids and some children's Dramamine. A pin light. Now on a kit like this that's going to be in the car in my backpack, I like to have more than one or two pairs of gloves, so I'll usually carry like five or six pairs of gloves, and I can put them in a Ziploc, a little sandwich bag like this, and that works. Um, but that's going to be hard to get in there, especially because this is really full. I like glove pouches like these. These are uh, made by Condor and they're pretty inexpensive. I like them because they have this elastic opening in the front so you can pull gloves out one at a time. The trick to this is not to just pull a handful of gloves out and jam them in because then you will never get them out one at a time. It's to take your gloves and put them in here one at a time. Now to get a glove I can open this up I can pull one glove out the front there. 
notebook, a Sharpie, and a pen, a tourniquet. I'm going to put right underneath these elastic loops on the front. Scissors. So that is a pretty chunky kit. If you're putting together a kit, uh, think about where you're going. If you're going somewhere where you're really worried about bullet holes and that type of stuff, then yeah, you might need a different sort of kit. This is just for general use for me and my kids hiking or driving around in the car, that sort of stuff. Might want to think about a bigger pouch. This one is a little smaller once I started packing stuff in there, but we'll see how it goes. So there is my trauma kit slash first aid kit for putting in the car or in my backpack and a pocket sized kit just for slipping in my pocket or carrying around doing my day-to-day -day stuff, whatever it is I have to be doing. What I put in my kit is things that I feel that I will need. You carry what you are comfortable using in your first aid kits, but above all, be trained on how to perform first aid effectively before you put together a first aid kit. I know a lot of folks who have put together their IFAC and their trauma kit and their tearaway med pouch and their, you know, ankle first aid trauma kit things. And they really have no clue how to use most of the things in there aside from what they've watched on the internet. You should never trust that somebody else is going to be able to use your gear to save you. You need to know how to use the things that you are carrying and make sure the people around you know how to use those things too. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Do you carry a first aid kit like this in your car or in your backpack when you're out hiking um, or a pocket kit? Is that something that you put together? Or do you think that's useful? Give me your opinions. I'll read them. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. If you do buy a bunch of these, don't store them next to your kitchen scale.